So batch process tool. Uh, to find that, we're going to go over from the ribbon. We're going to go to the file option, click on that, and then go down to the tools and select the batch process. It is worthy to note that this is not an option for our PowerDraft users. So it's, it's currently on MicroStation Connect and on Open Roads Designer. Um, so let's go ahead and click that batch process tool. And we're kind of going to look at some of these. We'll, we'll run through some of these buttons here first. So this first button, obviously, is the a new batch button. Um, it's currently grayed out because there's no files in our queue. But once we place some files in here, we'll be able to go ahead and save or, or use that button here. The next button is obviously the open batch process. So the open batch process allows you to open previously saved batch process to rerun. The next one is the save batch process, simple enough. The next tool is add files or directories to batch process. So this will help you queue up your files, which you want to run on the command script or with your command script. There is another way to queue up the files and that can be done by just dragging in. And I'll show you that in, or I'll show you that in a second. Next button is currently grayed out. And this is obviously just to remove the files. And then finally, we have the button to actually process the batch process. And this will be colored in once we have some files to queue or queued up. Um, we do have an option on the side to process a selection. So you can, if you have several files queued up, you can select the ones that you want, click on this, and then click on your process batch process to run the script only on those files. Uh, below that, we have our command file bar. And so this will show the command file that we are executing here. Um, the ellipsis here will browse for any command files that you already have set up. And then we have the pencil icon, which is to edit the command file. So once you have the command file selected, you can hit on the ed the edit command file, and that'll kind of pop it up to make changes dynamically. And then finally, we have the create new command file. So the create new command file obviously will open up a notepad. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.